everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Today's saint is credited not only with founding the first secular institute, but also for creating the first teaching order of women. Saint Angela Marisi was born on a farm in Desenzano, Italy in the year 1474. Orphaned at a young age, she and her sister grew up in the home of her uncle. When her sister died suddenly without receiving the last rites, Angela was left with a deep grief. In great distress, she prayed fervently for her sister's soul. God then revealed to her in a vision of her sister in heaven among the company of saints. After this vision, she became incredibly devout and joined the Third Order of St. Francis, embracing a life of austerity. When she turned 20, her uncle also died, and she returned to her hometown to live on the land left to her as a dowry. It was there in Desenzano that she first began to recognize her calling. She noticed that so many of the young girls without education had no hope for a good future. So she opened up her home to educate and instruct them how to pray and participate in the sacramental life of the church. Soon, God gave her another vision, this time telling her to found a company of consecrated virgins who would devote their lives to the religious education of young girls. Immediately, Angela brought this vision to reality, creating a small group of women fueled by nothing more than their mutual love of Jesus and committed service to his church. Her group was so successful that she was invited to establish a similar group of educators in the neighboring town of Brescia. Then in 1524, she took a pilgrimage through the Holy Lands, but during her journey, she was suddenly struck blind on the island of Crete. Unfazed by the setback, she continued her pilgrimage with enthusiasm and zeal as she visited each sacred shrine. On her way back, she prayed in front of a crucifix in the same spot where she had lost her sight, and suddenly her vision was restored. She took this experience as a message from the Lord that she must never shut her eyes to the needs of those around her or to shut her heart to God's call. A little over 10 years later, Angela gathered 12 consecrated virgins and laid the groundwork for the Order of the Ursulines under the patronage of St. Ursula, who was revered for her great piety and leadership among women. The first of its kind, those in her order were to live outside the cloister. They wore no habit, made no formal vows, except that of poverty, chastity, and obedience, and sought to educate young girls in their homes. By the time of her death in 1540, there were 24 communities of the company of St. Ursula. Opening both schools and orphanages, the Ursulines were officially approved by Pope Paul III just a few short years after her death in 1544. St. Angela had a vision of improving society through bringing proper education and religious teaching to young women in the home. One of her favorite sayings was, disorder in society is the result of disorder in the family. In today's world, her mission is still just as important. May we all carry the same vision in our hearts that true change starts at home, within ourselves and within our own families and relationships. St. Angela Marisi, pray for us.